Stand Up for Jesus was the procession of music hymn which opened the 2023 prayers to mark the annual pilgrimage at Namgongo Anglican site. The Christians who flocked this site overwhelmingly embraced the newly first lifted and erected amphitheater to celebrate the 45 young Christians who were killed for their Christian faith in the year 1885 and later termed as martyrs. The Eastern Cluster, comprising Bukedi, Karamoja, Soroti and Central Busoga dioceses, among others, portrayed an energizing spiritual service, bringing closer the faith as believed by the martyrs. <laughs> The shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder gathering called for more support in acquiring more land and funds to accomplish the planned construction of what has become among the top tourism sites in Uganda. We are increasing. We need that land. Praise the Lord. The neighbors who are behind there, you are on church land. Praise the Lord. Please better organize yourselves. The amphitheater cost Uganda shillings 13.1 billion. This whole thing, the amphitheater, 13.1 billion. And as you can see, we are at the left. We are left with the few works to fully complete. The Archbishop of Uganda, Dr. Kazimba Mugalu, hailed the government for the support towards the development of the Anglican Matters side. I also ask the Christian to support church projects in your diocese and protect the church's properties for posterity. The guest preacher, also the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of North America, His Grace Foley Beach, challenged leaders to spread the gospel of reconciliation repentance and spiritual growth. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Is there something in my life which the Lord has shown me of which I need to repent? Archbishop Kazimba Mugalu reminded the celebrants why the Uganda Anglican Church initiated a split from Canterbury, the seat of the Anglican Church worldwide, after its decision to allow priests bless same-sex marriages and civil partnerships. I want to assure you we've only just begun and the future of Christian mission and global Anglicanism is very bright. The Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, represented the President of Uganda and asked the congregation that the challenges hindering the development of the site will be followed up to zero miles. That if they are bona fide occupants, we have to make sure that they are handled as bona fide occupants. And because this place is a government which contributes to tourism, I think it will be uh, proposed for government to help us on compensating the bona fide occupants around this place. That proposal must be supported. President Yoweri Museveni asked the religious leaders to aid the promotion of government programs like PDM and EMIOGA, intending to liberate Ugandans from poverty. It is important for all households to join the wealth creation campaign in order to guarantee prosperity. The NRM government is mobilizing the remaining 39% of the Ugandan households that are still traps in subsistence farming that is working only for food to join the money economy. Subsistence farming fosters poverty because besides food there are other human needs that must be satisfied such as shelter, medicine, clothes. After the service the Archbishop led the chief guest to officially launch the amphitheater. What are the words? Third June celebrations and theater. 
The mood behind me here signifies that this year's Matters Day celebrations has been a success. And what I can vividly tell you is that the dioceses, including Renzori, Bunyoro Kitara and Masindi, have already been chosen to lead the celebrations for 2024 Matters Day. Here at the Anglican site, it is a done deal for 2023. Daniel Mugoya, UBC News.